Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to crimp a terminal on the end of a wire. First thing you want to do is know what size gauge wire you have. Identify the gauge because everything is based on wire size and if you don't get it right, nothing's going to be right. You get your crimper and each one of these holes here are labeled on top. I don't know if you can see them. It says what gauge wire is stripped by what hole. Okay, so now you know what hole you need to insert your wire and I like giving it a little bit over a quarter of an inch. I like to strip off a little bit longer. Just take it, set that wire in a groove, make sure you have it right because you don't want to break any of the strands of wire. Okay, after you get it stripped, identify, uh, inspect the piece of wire. And I like giving them wires a little twist so they all stay together. Make sure you didn't break any of the braids in that wire and I'll take my terminal and I'll gently put it in there and I'll slide it on there nice I don't want to bend any of them braids I want the whole thing to pop out the very end like that I like seeing a little bit of the wire sticking out and I know I have that wire seated the insulation seated in the little cutout for it and then I'll take my crimpers and your crimpers will be labeled also telling you what crimp is used for what size wire make sure you've identified that and you just take them and give it a good hard squeeze all the way until it's fully closed pinching them that terminal really nicely make sure you have it nice and I'll take my crimpers and I'll take the next size up and I'll just lightly crimp the back of the terminal I don't want to do it hard where I break I think I just want to lightly do it so it's snug and help hold the installation, giving you a better, stronger crimp. Well, I hope this is helpful.